don't leave those points at the free throw line. Get them in the scorebook. Get them on the scoreboard. Okay? Make sure that you use those free throw. Free throw to really up your point average. Average in high school from 12 to 16 or 16 to 20. That's the difference between getting a scholarship and not getting a scholarship. Who loves basketball? Coach Corsi here, California, Philippines, Bearcats. Let's go Bearcats. here California Philippines Bearcats make sure you subscribe like comment hit that notification button hey I want to talk to you about free throws today and we're gonna kind of go through a little bit on what it takes to be a great free throw shooter okay why a free throw is important because it's a free throw free throw it's the easiest shot in the game and you want to get so good at free throws that you're that guy that when the other team you're playing against, the coach gets a technical and there's two shots to shoot, that your coach says, hey, Johnny, Johnny, go shoot them for me because he knows you're the best free throw shooter on the team. That's what you want to be. By the time you're in high school, you should be able to shoot 80%, make 80% of your free throws above. And again, you can do it earlier than high school if you really work at it. But if you're going to shoot 100 shots in a day, which you should, if you're really serious about basketball, it should be a minimum of 100 shots per day. Okay, You want to make sure that of those 100, that 10 of those shots are free throws. If you do 200, 20 of those shots are free throws. Okay, now, let's talk about free throws. A lot of guys have problems with free throws. There's very very small percentage of people are great free throw shooters. Why? Why, you may ask. Well, I'll tell you the first thing. Number one, and the most important thing, they don't practice. They don't practice. As Allen Iverson, practice. You have to practice them. And you can't be like Shaq back in the day who said, I don't need to practice. When I need to make them, I'll make them. That, that doesn't work. You, you've got to practice. Whoever shoots the most free throws, gonna make the most free throws. Okay, so I've seen some of the weirdest techniques over the years of guys shooting free throws. And I wanna show you some of them. And all of them, unless you're really good at it, I don't agree with. So here's the first one. Adrian Dantley, for you older subscribers. Here's the next one. This one was very proficient. Who is that? Think about it, think about it. You got it. Rick Berry, Rick Berry. Okay, then I've seen other ones like this. I've seen ones like this. And then they shoot. I've seen these. I've seen these. I've seen these. I've seen these. And everybody's just standing around waiting like, like everybody's around the key waiting for you to shoot your free throw and just going, shoot the free throw already. And I go on, I've seen this one. Sideways. Like this is gonna really help. Crazy, right? I've seen this one. Remember who this dude did this? Close the eyes. Who did that? Think about it, think about it. Yep, you got it, Michael Jordan. This is another one I've seen. And then they shoot it. It's like got a hitch in their shot. Not gonna be a good free throw shooter. Okay, so I believe, and I believe very strongly in this, and I was a 85, almost 90% free throw shooter in college. And I believe that your, your free throw needs to simulate your jump shot or your your mid-range shot 
Okay, meaning, number one, your toes need to be pointed for, forward. That's number one, very important. And number two, it has to be a shot. I don't believe in more than one, two, three. Toes pointed forward, toes pointed forward, okay? And it needs one dribble, so this simulates my shot. Here, head up, one dribble, shot. Swish, did you hear that? Swish. Okay, let's do another one. Here we go. Just one dribble. Up. Okay, one dribble. You know when you shot a good shot? When you shoot it, it hits the back of the rim and it bounces back to you. That's the perfect shot. Let's do it again. One dribble, follow through. And that's another thing. Just watch my follow through. So one dribble, up, follow through. Follow through. How long do you follow through? You follow through till it hits the rim or, or, or it goes through the basket and hits the ground. So let's watch it one more time. Just one dribble. This is what I've been doing for years. Just one dribble. Don't waste a lot of time. Boom, shot. Okay. So last thing, and I'm going to shoot 10. Let's see how many I make. Don't hesitate. Okay. When you hesitate, 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 hitch, hesitate. It's like, have you ever like been at a waterfall and you have a cliff and you want to jump in and you're on the top? Okay. And the longer you wait to jump, the harder it is to jump and the more scared you get. It's the same thing with free throws. The longer you wait to shoot them, the harder it is to make them. The more you hesitate and dribble and go around your back and do all the stuff, the better chance you have of not making it. So let's see, let's shoot 10. Let's see how many I made. One for one. One for one. Okay. But they're going in, right? Nice follow through, soft touch. Let's keep going. Four for four. Swish! Swish! No better sound in the world than hearing that ball go through a net like that. Four for four. Ooh, four for five. Four for five. Five for six. See, right back to me. That's a perfect shot right there. Ooh, five for seven. Six for eight. Woo, straight back to me. Seven for nine. Woo! Let's so let's go now. Let's go, Bearcats. Eight for ten. Here we go. Oh, just barely. Eight for ten, okay. I missed two. You're gonna miss some. You're gonna miss some. The more you shoot, the more you're gonna make. I don't shoot every day. And I still made eight out of ten. Once you become a great free throw shooter, it's like riding a bike. Why is this so important? Why am I talking about this? Why is why is free throw so important? Because if you make your free throws, when you get in high school. Do you want to average 10 points a game or 15? Do you want to average 14 or 20? Free throws are the difference. Because if you're a good player and you're attacking the rim, you're going to get fouled. Make sure that you use those free throw, free throw to really up your point average from 12 to 16 or 16 to 20. That's the difference between getting a scholarship and not getting a scholarship. Think about that. How important are free throws? And kids spend less time shooting free throws than they do anything else. It's super important. Hey guys, please comment, subscribe.
like, hit that notification button. Go Bearcats. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. God bless you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for being a part of this. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, hit that notification button, and I'll see you on the next video. God bless and go Bearcats.